Today, I'm going to show you how to get free access to GPT-4, Llama, Claude, and we'll compare Claude versus Llama and GPT-4 to see which one performs the best in terms of SEO and creating content, in terms of its SEO score. And we'll also test each of them for keyword research as well to compare, right, which one is performing best? Is it Llama? Is it Claude? Is it GPT-4? And how do you get free access to them? So let's get straight into it. Okay, so if you're trying to access Claude AI, for example, and you're outside of the US or the UK, you're actually unable to access this, right? So what you can do is if you go to po.com and you can create a free account here, you can get access to pretty much all of the main chatbots for creating AI content. And you can see here on the left-hand side, we've got the assistant, but on top of that, we've got Claude, GPT-4, Claude 2, Claude Instant, chat gpt 16k i think they do have a paid option which you can see here but i'm a free user and you also get google palm i don't even know what that is and llama on top of that llama is from meta and then you can see a whole list of all the models here so you've got llama chat gpt claude gpt4 etc and you can get free access pretty crazy so you might be wondering what are the limits on that so if you go to your settings you can see how much you've actually used so you can see, for example, Claude, you get 30 messages. Claude 2, you get 30 messages per day. And then it resets. So you can see in 11 hours, 57 minutes, this limit will reset. GPT-4, I think you only get one in total, which is not great. But that's basically how you can get free access. So let's take a problem like this, and we can actually compare the output from Claude, GPT-4, etc., and see what the process is like. So we're going to paste one. This is one of my favorite prompts. You've seen my other videos, you know that I use this a lot. And we're gonna say right below the content, blah, 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 insert the keywords, we'll put the keyword there. Let's say, for example, we're trying to rank for can cats eat bananas? A question I often ask on this channel. And then we'll put that keyword in there and we'll paste that into Claude, like so. And you can see it's actually creating the content. I've never used Claude before, but this is interesting because you can see it actually creates the content with HTML. See what the H2, H3 underneath, H3 there, etc. So let's base that. We can compare the output from each actually afterwards. So on top of that, you can actually get these other questions that you can add. So you could say, right, can cats eat other fruits beside bananas? And then it will create a H3 section like this, some bullet points, etc. So you can actually make your article longer and longer just by clicking different options underneath the main option, which is quite interesting. Now, let's see what the content is like, wondering if kitties can kick back with a banana. I mean, the writing is quite interesting itself. It's written with personality for sure. I don't like these big long walls of text, but I'm guessing you can fix that pretty quickly. What we can do is actually test the SEO score of this content. So we'll run that through phrase and we'll see how this performs versus other articles created by ChatGPT4 or Llama, for example. So that's the output from Claude. Let's paste this into Llama. So Llama actually seems to write the content in Markdown, as you can see. So these are your H2 headings, etc. The content is very different between each one of them. If we compare the headings, for example, I just, I didn't actually give Claude an outline, but you can see it's covered like, can cats eat a banana? Can they digest food? Do they actually enjoy it? If we look at Llama's content, they've talked about why do cats and bananas seem so incompatible? So it basically answers the question in a different way. Evolution of cats in the diet, domestication, etc. Now to me, what I would say about this is it kind of goes a little bit off topic, right? So. You can see these two paragraphs here with the content. It veers off on a crazy tangent that's not that relevant to the person reading it. On top of that, it doesn't really give a straightforward answer with Llama. It doesn't really tell you whether they can or can't, etc. But I do like the fact that the paragraphs are short. It's given us some bullet points. It's formatted it nicer. It's written it in Markdown. And it's probably done it a bit better than Claude in that respect. So we'll pop that into our Google Doc like that. And let's check GPT-4. So as you can see with GPT-4, you only get one. So you only get one message per day with GPT-4. You're not going to get a lot. So you have to make sure that prompt really counts. Get the best bang for your buck, basically. 
because it's a one take Drake and there's no going back from that. So let's have a look at the content from ChatGPT4. I mean, all of the content is not bad, right? I would say if you actually gave these models an outline to do and create content around, it'd probably be a lot better. But overall, it's not bad. Let's see if it answers a question. So it doesn't really get straight to the point, which is the problem there. If we have a look at this paragraph right here, it's okay. It's not bad. And then it finally answers the question right. Now, if you're writing an article, normally with the value pyramid, this is something I learned from authority hackers, you want to front load your value at the top of the article to make it as interesting as possible, right? And to keep the user engaged and to provide the most value. And then a little bit less here. And then underneath here, it's going to get more generic. That's when you're going to have your conclusion, your FAQs, et cetera, at the bottom. But you want to answer the question directly right up here. That's where you want your value. If we look at this particular example, we can see it doesn't really get straight to the point. So it's something to be aware of when you create content. Okay. And then we shall put this content into our Google Doc. Like, so now we've got our topic score and we're actually going to compare how chat, how these tools actually perform in terms of content creation and SEO score. So if we take the content from Claude, first of all, see how long the content is. So the first part that it generated was just 400 words, which is not a massive amount. We'll paste that in there. And that got a content topic score of 18%. Now that's based on these scores here. So like the amount of words, headers, links, images, etc. in your content. And on top of that, if ChatGPT or Claude actually uses LSI keywords, then that's generated inside there. So we're going to delete that. So Claude got 18%. Let's see how Llama performed. So we'll take the content there, paste that in. And Llama actually got a score 35%, which is pretty good, right? You can see Llama is winning by a long way there. So the topic score is 35%. And that's without giving it any LSI keywords or headings or directions, etc. Just literally asking it to create an article with one prompt. The word count is actually longer with Llama. It's included more headers, etc. Not bad at all. And probably with a lot more direction, it would perform better. Let's see how GPT-4 performs for content creation. So that got a measly 14%. So in terms of content creation, Llama is winning by a long way. Claude is behind and chat GPT-4 is even more behind. Now, what we can actually do is generate a LSI optimized article based on what our competitors are doing on phrase IO. And then we can put that into Po and see how they perform, right? And potentially you would write more optimized content. And if you use that, let's see, let's just try it with Claude. We'll try a hundred K for example, paste that in. Um, we'll say write an article on can cats eat bananas based on the outline below. We've got the content generated. Now let's paste that into phrase and see how it performs. Hmm. And that actually performed just as badly. So you can see here the content that we generated with Claude, copied and pasted from there, actually got a topic score of 19%. And originally, you got a topic score of 18%. So even with using an outline from Phrase, the content that you're generating using Claude doesn't seem to be particularly powerful. Now, I've actually heard really good things about Claude, so I don't want to be too harsh on it and potentially it might be that just because you're using it on po.com or I've not used it in the right way, but it's not generating the output that you want. But essentially, looking at the results, Llama is smashing it with 35%. Claude came second with 18% and ChatGPT4 got a measly 14%. Now, they're all good tools. I'm sure if you guided them in the right way and trained them in the right way in their native platforms, not on po.com, that would work really well. Let's see what it's like for keyword reviews, right? So what I've said to Claude is give me the best four product roundup SEO keywords for my birds website, competition scores, search volumes, etc. that can be monetized with Amazon products. Don't include Amazon in the keyword, put in a table, blah, blah, blah. And what has come back to me with is a bunch of keywords that we can test. Now, I don't know if the competition scores and search volumes are hallucinated, but let's see. It's also interestingly given us potential products to review. So let's paste this into Ahrefs like so, and we'll see how it performs. Actually, it's given us some decent keywords so we could write review articles and affiliate articles around. 
And actually, what's also interesting is a lot of these keywords are very low competition. Let's see. Yeah, that one's medium, but it does say medium on the table. Let's see how this performs. Not enough search volume there. 17 medium. Best bird toys. I think this is one I'm ranking for, actually. So not bad, not bad for the first few keywords that it gave us. They actually all got a decent score. Like for example, this one I could create an article around. It's got a decent, it's got a easy keyword difficulty. It's getting an okay amount of traffic. So you can see the top result gets 73. The second best one gets 120. This one gets 110. So that is a keyword we could potentially go for. That is easy to rank for. I think the search volumes are way, way off and probably hallucinated. But you can see it's not bad. It's not bad at all. If we check this one, yeah, easy keyword, decent traffic potential, and that's using free access on Claude. By the way, if you do want access to these prompts, you can get them in my free course. That's where I'm getting them from right now to paste them in. Let's check Llama then, see how it performs for keyword research. So I think looking at these keywords, they're not going to be so good simply because they're so long form, right? So for example, if you look at best bird feeders for attracting cardinals, do I think that it's going to high search volume like that? Absolutely not. And if we check it on Ahrefs, you can see that the volume is zero to 10, just doesn't get enough traffic, probably because it's so long tail. Let's check this one. Yeah, again, it doesn't get the search volume. So if you're going to do keyword research, it seems like Claude will be a better opportunity. Now for AI keyword research, it's not amazing, but if you had an option of Claude versus Llama, probably Claude is going to perform the best. So thanks so much for watching. If you want free access to the prompts and scripts and templates I've talked about today, you can get free access. I'll leave a link in the comments and you know, for keyword research, for generating articles, you can get those free prompts I've talked about and tested today. If you want a free call to discuss how to get more leads, traffic and sales from Google to your website and to grow your business with SEO, then feel free to book in a free strategy session. I'll leave a link to that too. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you. Bye.